Hi everyone, Kat from Kitten Cat Yoga here. We've got Moon, our other instructor at Kitten Cat Yoga as well. And we have a nice, easy um, yoga that you can do without leaving your bed. Doesn't that sound great? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna make our way into a nice, cozy cross-legged seat. If this is something that is a little bit difficult for you to get into, you're more than welcome to use any pillow on your bed, maybe put it underneath your sit bones to bring you up a little bit. And if that's still something that doesn't really feel comfortable for you today, you're more than welcome to sit at the edge of your bed and put your feet flat on the ground. So it's about you, it's about what you need to do to keep your spine nice and long and straight. So for me, I'm gonna stay in my cross-legged seat, use a pillow. Moon. Okay, well, anyway, coming to this space, we're just going to begin to soften through the body. So, just bringing some gentleness to the eyes, maybe closing them. Oh, I guess fluff is going to take over teaching. Um, so, closing them. I'm just beginning to deepen the breath here. So, on the inhale, feel the belly rise. And then on the exhale, pulling the navel back towards the spine. You're more than welcome to take your right palm and place it over the belly. So maybe feeling the breath fill and help you keep your attention on it. So you might just be starting your day or you might just be ending it. Um, and if you're starting it, you know, you have all these things that you're thinking you have to do today and places you have to be, or if it's the end of the day, just reflecting on the day. Um, and I'm in this space, I would like for you to let those things go and just turn your attention inward on your breath and give your mind a break from, you know, constantly thinking and constantly doing. So this is a good time for you to slow down. So just sticking with our nice full belly breaths. Keeping the spine nice and long. Maybe imagining a string going from the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, pulling you up nice and tall. Keeping the muscles in the face relaxed, unclenching the jaw, keeping the shoulders relaxed. On every inhale, breathing in nice nourishing breaths. And on every exhale, just softening a little bit more. Taking a few more breaths here. One more big breath in. Perfect. And you can take the hands and just rest them gently on the knees or wherever feels good. And on our next inhale, staying where we are, big breath in. And on the exhale, just gently tucking the chin into the chest, stretching through the back of the neck, making sure that we're keeping the spine nice and long. Inhale, bring the head back through center. And then exhale, turning the gaze up towards the ceiling, stretching through the neck. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, chin to chest. And just continuing these motions, following your breath, moving at your own pace. Keeping the muscles soft and relax. And then the next time you make your way back through center, just staying there. Perfect. I'm gonna take the left fingertips, bring them down to the bed. And on our next inhale, reach the right arm overhead to the 
top of your head, and then on the exhale, gently pulling right ear over right shoulder. So you should be feeling a nice stretch to the side of the neck, down the shoulder, maybe even a little bit down the arm. Keeping that spine nice and long and tall. Nice full belly breaths in. And deep releasing breaths out. Just a few more where we are. Perfect. And on our next inhale, bringing the head back through center, releasing the right fingertips down. And on our next inhale, left arm comes up to the top of the head. And then exhale, gently pulling left ear over left shoulder. Stretching through the right side of the neck, the shoulder. Keeping the spine nice and long. All of the muscles soft and relaxed. And if you feel your mind wandering, just bring it back to your breath. Maybe even counting the inhales. Inhale, one, two, three, four. And exhale, one, two, three, and four. And just one more big breath here. And on our next inhale, bringing the head back through center, and exhale, releasing the fingertips down. Perfect. So you can keep the uh, fingertips on the ground and the arm lifted, or if you're a little bit more bendy, you can drop the right forearm down, and on our inhale, reach the left arm up, and then over to the right. So if your knees are flying up like that, then I would suggest that you stay up on the fingertips. But if you're able to come to this space and keep the legs down, then please do so. And if the and if the legs are coming up like that, you know, and you have to be here, don't feel bad about it. It's not a big deal. Everyone's bodies are different on the day to day. Um, and it's not about the posture. It's about the breathing. It's about giving your body love and care and being gentle with yourself and just taking the time. Just sticking with our deep, full belly breaths in in this space. And on our next inhale, just trying to open up through the chest a little bit more and turn the gaze up towards the ceiling. One more breath here. Beautiful. And then on your next inhale, making your right back up through center and exhale, releasing the left arm down. And now the other side. So inhale, reach the right arm up and reaching over to the left. Once again, noticing where your legs are, if they're coming up like this, staying on the fingertips. Nice big breaths in. And deep releasing breaths out. On our next inhale, opening up through the chest, turning the gaze up towards the ceiling. And one more big breath in this space. And then on our next inhale, making our way back up through center. And exhale, releasing the right arm down. Perfect. So now we're going to take our left palm. We're going to bring it to the right knee. <clears throat> and take our right palm and just reach it behind you. So inhale, lengthen through the spine, nice and tall and long. And then exhale, just twisting a little bit deeper. 
So if you're in this posture and it feels like you are really forcing it to happen, please don't. Um, just do a little bit less. So maybe your arm is out here. That's totally fine. Um, we never want to force things in yoga because we are de-stressing the body, not adding stress. We're telling the muscles it's time to relax. And when you force a posture, your muscles are like, I need to work and they fight against you. So just keep that in mind. Know that coming to the breath is what's most important here. So just a few more breaths in this posture. One more big breath in. And on the exhale, making your way back through center. Now we're gonna take the right palm, bring it to the left knee, left palm and bring it behind you. Inhale, nice and long, strong spine. And exhale and twist. Full nourishing breaths in, nice long spine. And deep relaxing breaths out. Just one more breath here. <clears throat> and then on the exhale, making your way back through center. Perfect. Now from here, we're just going to boop, bring the feet together. Knees nice and wide. And you can keep the feet pretty far away from you, so you don't need to, you don't need to be up in here. You can keep them ahead of you quite some bit. Now we'll maybe just give a little love to our feet, maybe a little massage, maybe massaging the toes and the heels and the base of the foot and just really getting in there and giving yourself a little bit love. If you work in the restaurant industry like me, you know the abuse that our poor, poor feet take on the day to day and it is Nice to just give them a little bit of care and a little bit of love every now and again. And while we're doing this, just continuing with our deep, full belly breaths in and long breaths out. Keeping the spine nice and long, gaze soft, our eyes closed. Now on our next inhale, letting that relax with the hands. We're gonna think about really elongating the spine here. And then on the exhale, just sinking a little bit forward. So as long as you can keep your back relatively straight, so we're not really like rounding through the spine here, it's keeping it straight. So if this is as far as you can come with keeping your spine straight, that is fine. I know some people can just boom, fold in half and keep their back flat. If that's the case for you, go right on ahead. But if your back is starting to round, then please just keep it nice and straight here. So letting the shoulders relax, the muscles in the face relax. We're getting a nice stretch in our hips here. On the inhales, feel the belly rise. Lower back expand. And then on the exhales, just sinking a little bit deeper into the hips. Just one more big breath here. And then letting it relax, bringing ourselves back up. And then from here, you're more than welcome to come back to a nice comfortable seat and maybe just close your eyes and work on your breathing for a little bit longer until you're ready to start or end the day. Or you can lay down if it's the end of the night and just lay on your back with your palms facing up and really just soak in the benefits of the practice that we just did. I hope you're feeling relaxed. I hope you're feeling restored and ready to seize the day or end the day. 
Thank you for practicing with me and with Fluff. Namaste.